Hey, welcome to my channel, Cassie's Books. This is day 12 of Bookmas slash Vlogmas. I made it to the end, guys. I am so proud of myself. 12 days, 12 videos, nonstop editing and filming. It's been so, so, so much fun. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you my 2023 reading goals. And I'm really excited because I created a little Notion template. So make sure you check out the description below so you can download your template and create your own goals for 2023. But to start, we're gonna start with the unplugged book box. Last day of the advent calendar. I'm gonna open up this bad boy and then uh, we're going to go over the goals. I hope you guys had a really good day today. If you celebrate Christmas, I hope your morning was really good and you had fun with your family and all of that. It's always such a fun time. My daughter's two now, so it's just so much fun. I think this is a book. Oh, it's definitely a book. Oh, I wonder what book it is. <gasps> Reputation. A Lady is Nothing Without One by Lex Crocher. Oh, I did not expect a book. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a good size book too. It's not a novella or anything. It's like 300 pages. Let me read to you what it's about. It looks like some Bridgington vibes, which I'm into. It is a truth universally acknowledged that girls just want to have fun. I already love it. I'm going to read it. It sounds good. Bookish sheltered Georgina Ellers is spending the summer with her aunt and uncle at their English countryside home. At a particularly dull party, she meets Ignatic Frances Campbell, a member of the upper classes of Regency Society who delights Georgina with her disregard for politeness and propriety. I can't say that word. Georgina quickly falls in with Frances and her friends who introduce her to a world of drunken debauchery and lavish parties. When she meets the seemingly quiet and straight-laced Thomas Hawksley, sparks fly, but Thomas seems unimpressed with the company she keeps. Soon Georgina begins to wonder if the price to enter this world will be higher than she can afford to pay. Set in a time when one's reputation was everything, this hilarious novel explores sex, belonging, and status through the eyes of an unforgettable heroine whom Jane Austen herself would have cheered for. It says if Bridgington and Fleabag had a book baby, it would be reputation. I inhaled it in one sitting. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a Regency romance. This is going to be cute. It looks like a fun rom-com situation. I love these kind of books. So cute. Thank you again. This wasn't sponsored or anything, but I just have loved Unplugged Book Boxes Advent Calendar. It has been so much fun opening them up for the last 12 days. I definitely am going to get one again next year. So this has been so much fun, but let's get into the reading goals for 2023. All right, so let's get started. I have my reading goals thing pulled up right here. So if I'm looking this way, it's because my computer's right here, but you guys will be able to see the template and stuff on the screen. So just to start, I have my reading goals thing. I have a cute little quote there that I added. And then here is the vision board and then the goals. And I kind of created a little dump list of all the goals I wanted to do. So let's get started by doing the vision board. So I already like picked a bunch of images out from Pinterest. So you can just add a cover and then you're going to select change cover, then upload, and then you're going to upload your file. So you can either click that or just like drop the picture right into the little square thingy. And then bada boom yep I'm gonna delete that tag thing though because we definitely don't need it right there okay and then uh delete that thingy that's just like an automatic thing they add and then boom look at that cute little picture perfect all right let's do the next one all right so I'm just gonna zoom through these really quick but you kind of get the idea I just saved some pictures from Pinterest and then I'm um, adding them all in here as kind of like in a little aesthetic thing so I can remember where my future is going. I really want to create like more of like a boho reading space. So I got, I got pictures like that. Then I also am like really inspired by the beach, I feel like. So I really want to include kind of more beachy vibe pictures, if that makes sense. So that's kind of what I'm going for in 2023. Um, a lot a uh, lifelong vacation mode on the beach. But I am Michigan, so... <laughs> There's not that many beaches here, but that is okay. Last picture in now. Upload it, drop it in. And a boom scoops. You have a little vision board or vibe, whatever you're going for, for 2023. Let's add the goals in next. So I already kind of started. I want to read 125 books. So I have a progress bar and you can just drop in the books right in there. And let's set up a new one. I already made a template for the read more genres. 
So you're gonna, re my goal is to read 12 different genres. So I have them all listed out and I'm gonna put the book title and author right there and under the little toggle button, which will work out perfect. And then uh, we got that. So let's add a new one in. I'm gonna do my uh, uh, keep a book journal goal. So I wanna make sure I maintain a book journal for all the 25 book, 125 books that I wanna read. So I'm gonna keep the book goal the same. I'm gonna keep, find a cute little thing. I think I'm gonna go rainbow. Yeah, rainbow style is cute. So I'm gonna make sure I add in uh, 125 books and then every time I add a book in, I will drop it into the books read section so that way the progress bar will update. And then my other goal is to be a DNF queen and not waste my time reading books that I don't want to read. So I'm going to make sure I add in that. And then I'm going to find a little X mark. Okay, that's not working. Find maybe the red X. I know it's somewhere in here. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to add a little X there. And then I'll go in later and add a progress bar for the DNF because I think that will work the best. So I'll add the formula in later so I can... DNF. I add, you know, track how many books I'm DNFing. Not that's kind of a weird goal, but I'm gonna make it ten. I'm gonna make my goal to d DNF ten books, <laughs> so I'm not just wasting my time reading books that don't make me happy. Sweet, I got those started, and then I'm going to erase these goals because I don't need them. And boom, guys, that's like how easy it is to set reading goals. So I got the page and the vision board all set up. Oh my goodness. That is so cute and so easy to do. Don't forget, I'm dropping the link below for the template so you can make your own little reading goal page inside your Notion. Don't forget to grab your reading goal template below so you can set it up in your Notion and just track all the goals that you wanna do. You can use the ones that I already have in there or you can also add your own goals and uh, drop some comments below what your reading goals are for 2023 because I can always add more. But those are the ones I really want to focus on. I don't want to waste my time anymore reading books I don't like. So I'm going to try to DNF some books and not feel guilty about it. I really want to read 125. Last this year I did 100 books and I easily got over it. So I'm going to try to do 125 this year. And then uh, I... I'm definitely going to try to branch out into different genres, which is like a big thing for me because I pretty much only read romance and fantasy and like paranormal type of stuff. So I'm really going to try to get myself out there and read some different genres and broaden my horizons. But those are my goals. I really, really, really enjoy doing this a Vlogmas with you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Make sure you like and subscribe to not miss out any new videos that are coming out in 2023. I am posting weekly. So I will see you guys in the new year.